Right, I've just I've just tried to record something and then from out of nowhere two kids have, have just formed. I'm not kidding. I was I pulled out my phone and I started recording and then I said, Oh bloody hell and then I took my, I put my phone back in my pocket. Two kids formed from nowhere, what the hell is that? Um that might not even that that first bit, that might that first sentence might not even get posted. Um this might not even get posted either, this entire blog, but it's just something to do while I'm walking home. Um, I think smart TVs are the biggest lost of, the biggest waste of money going. I don't get them. I just think they're trying to capture a, a, a market of, let's say, I, w- I wouldn't say stupid people, but I, I'd say people that are unaware. Like, just, just get a PS3. You pay you you you're paying for the TV. You're paying like I know over a grand for a smart TV. That's just a HD TV with internet capabilities put in. Now you might be thinking, oh yeah, but it's it's like the way of the way of the future, isn't it? Well, in terms it is, but we can ignore. We, we've got loads of things like there's there's loads of devices out there that we've had to ignore because they're just so shit. Or we've got another device that already meets the demand, so we've ch- tossed that other device away in way of the other device that to make way for the future. Now, I don't think smartphones are... Uh, smartphones. I don't think smart TVs are going to be here in the future because, it, in a way, we've had them for a long time. We've had PS3s. Right, like, what's the, what's the likelihood of... LG bringing out a smart TV and then six months down the line there's an update for it. I don't I don't think LG are gonna I don't I don't think LG are gonna update that TV to the the features that it should have. Where you could just get a PS3. Uh, you know it's gonna be supported by Sony for a long time after the PS4 comes out or whatever they're calling it. Um, See, you you already know. You already know. Once the PS4 comes out, they, like Sony won't just go. All right, we're getting rid of the PS3 now. We're from the, from the market. We're gonna stick with the PS4 and just toss away the PS3. Well, Sony aren't like that. So Sony kept the PS2 running for another uh, six six years after the uh, PS3 came out. And uh, no, not six years. I think it's five years. They kept the PS2 running, and they kept like thief, like people, people who had the PS2. Uh, the only games that were coming out from was like either made in NFL or FIFA. The last game that was actually produced for the PS2 was, I think it was basketball. Uh, not sure, but. The, the Sony kept that running, like kept saying, right, still still make games for this console, even though you're not going to sell much, but keep making it, like just tone down, just tone down the graphics on the PS3 version and you're done, and ship it, and then, like, worst came to worst, and they ended up shutting down the PS2, so people still have a PS2, heck, even I, even I have a PS2, I have a... St- yeah, I'll get I'll get back to a my original point. Smart TVs, even though they're good, and even though like they're gonna like if we didn't have a PS3 or an if if people didn't have a PS3 or an Xbox, well fair enough, but it's still over it's still overpriced. I'd ra- I'd, I'd rather get a standard a standard HD teller, get a PS3, and then have all the features for like for like too far it's like, it's like the same thing with a laptop if I if I was choosing to get a laptop I wouldn't get a Mac straight away like even if I had the money like oh I've got two grand I can waste like right I've got two grand I can waste I'm not gonna buy a Mac just get a just get a new laptop like it get a, get a high spec laptop partition the hard drive put OS X on it you done you boot up within seconds. It's just, just like. It's just, 
just like, I know I've got a Mac, and I love it, because if, if you if you dual booted a laptop, it's not the same experience as we as you would with the same Mac. But you, you know what I mean, and I'm talking to my phone. But I've got I've got a Mac, and I've not used it for weeks because I've just made I've just mainly been on my computer for work, and then well for train to game work, and then I've come straight off and gone to bed. Um. I actually, uh, I went on it yesterday, but that was like a quick 20 minutes, and I like it. Uh, but I'd get, I'd get, oh, I spent laptop for maybe £600 and, and partition the hard drive and have two operating systems on it instead of getting one big ass laptop that cost about two grand. And then, and then after that I'm stuck with it, I can't do anything with it because it's a Mac, but if I get a Windows laptop, I could, I could do anything I wanted, I could, I know I could pirate video editing software but it's much easier to do on Windows. And, um, yeah, thanks for listening and I'll see you next podcast.